Listen, thank you for subscribing, liking, and commenting on the video. Let's get into it. It's cutie. So, about that whole incident, I watched it from start to finish. The initial call, I think that that initial call um, when the police came and looked around the house and seeing nobody was there. I don't know if they was a little paranoid because of the call and the way the lady came out the house. She did take a minute to come out the house. But um, as you know, that they was really concerned about that car in the driveway. Like something was up with that car and they really wanted to know um, something more about that car. So that's when they invited themselves inside the house. Now, the part that kind of confused me a little bit was when she had the hot pot of water on the stove and the officer like went away from him. she was like oh why are you backing up for it he was like because you got some steam and water and then she was like i rebuke you in the name of jesus he was like huh and then she was like i rebuke you in the name of jesus then he was like i'll shoot you in your fucking head if you do and that was kind of weird you know what i mean maybe i don't know maybe he was a devil or something maybe he was possessed i don't know because it was just like why did he get so mad with her saying she rebuke you even though it is um offsetting somebody to say that to you but that's not like a reason to, you know, shoot somebody or kill somebody at that. So I don't know. I think that was kind of spiritual, honestly. Um, in retrospect, looking at the lady, you know, a lot of people say she wasn't in her right mind. I think that she's probably um, a drug addict. Um, I, you know, just by the way she was acting, she kind of was kind of like a tweaker. Like she was like paranoid. I know people who smoke crack get paranoid and look out the window and be seeing stuff and hearing stuff. And then just the way she came to the door, she was all up on her phone, not paying attention to the police, really. So it was obviously um, she was obviously under some type of influence of some type of drug or medication or something along that nature. But um, that whole incident is crazy. Um, did the police have a right to be a little startled? Yes. Did he have a right to kill that woman? No. Should he be charged with murder? Yes, definitely. Definitely second degree murder, in my opinion. I'm not going to say it was premeditated. Like they came to kill the lady, but um, in a moment, he could have used a better tactic. He had a taser. He could have tased the lady. For him to shoot the lady in the head over some hot water, even if she did throw the hot water on him, she was in enough distance that it wasn't going to affect him that much. But um, just crazy. Definitely crazy. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I think that dude definitely had a demon in him because why would you react that way to somebody saying i rebuke you in the name of jesus that is crazy but yeah that's my two bits on it um thanks for having me look that cop that killed sonya it was totally uncalled for he told her to take the pot off the stove which she did then he told her to put it down uh it was just totally uh excessive and i think that cop was on a power trip and he just wanted to do that, unfortunately. But I hope they put him under the jail, and that's where he stay. Hi, my name is Sharia. I'm a licensed clinical social worker with my very own private practice, and I am sharing my comments on the Sonia Massey story. To be completely transparent, I have not followed the story and that is to protect my own peace and to prioritize my own mental health. The storyline is the same, another senseless killing of a member of the black and brown community by a white police officer. And I don't really have any thoughts about it. I do think that I do have feelings about it. I think that it is sad. I think that it is disappointing. And I think that um, it's, it's the same story with just different characters. I think more importantly, it's important to do what you need to do to protect your peace and prioritize your own mental health. And so because of that, I do not follow these storylines. I do not re-traumatize myself by watching the, the, the incidences or the, you know, what took place that resulted in a member losing their life. I feel like that desensitizes individuals so I would encourage those who do continue to watch the footage to stop because it is desensitizing um, to actually see someone lose their life on camera if that is what is in the video um, and also if you can let you know lend a little compassion um, and empathy to you know this young woman's family I'm pretty sure that it is difficult to know that this type of footage is being circulated and 
you know, I, if it were me, you know, if this was my life that was taken and recorded by a body cam, I would hope that it is not circulating the internet for my kids to continue to watch over and over again. Um, I do encourage other members of the black and brown community to give yourself some compassion, give yourself um, some peace, give yourself some empathy and avoid re-traumatizing yourself from the Sandra Blands to the Breonna Taylors to the other you know, individuals who have suffered these senseless crimes and who've, who have had their life devalued by the people that we are supposed to trust to keep us safe and protected. So those are my comments specifically about Sonia Massey. I do wish that, um, I do send my deepest condolences. I cannot imagine being in this situation as a mother, um, as a daughter to a mother, um, as a sister. I, I just couldn't imagine it and my heart really goes out and I, I really wish that there was something that we could do that was not so destructive or so um, aggressive that can because those types of protests continue to perpetuate the narratives that these members have that continue to have them go into situations where they're supposed to be helpful and ending up being harmful. So I wish that there was something that we could do that could change the perspective and change the outcomes and the narratives in these particular situations so that we had less of these stories um, being created. And my deepest condolences and my heart also goes out to other members who are also triggered by this story, particularly, you know, members like Breonna Taylor, again, Sandra Bland, um, I can't think of the black men, but you know, all of those families that are re-triggered by these very similar stories. So those that is my two cents and I wish everybody protected peace. Bye. Hey, with that situation, I mean it was kinda of wrong on the, the officer behalf because the lady did call for help. And I mean he did come to her rescue, but all of the other nonsense was uncalled for. All she said, you know, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And he basically hollered, I'm going to shoot you in the face. Like, for what, man? That's a woman. Even if she was attacking you with the water, I mean, you had to shoot her in the head. Come on, man. That was crazy.